Okay, so quick. I had a friend of mine asking because he has a Logitech mouse. Um, I have the G502, but the software should be the same. So this this is pretty much for anyone who has a Logitech mouse and looking to make a, I guess what you would want to call it is like a burst fire um, macro, which I do it. I've got it set up to where it does five shots. Um, now, there's some debate on <laughs> if it's... Um, like legit or not like if you should even use it um i used it for about an hour just to kind of get used to the timing for a five five round burst and working on the recoil with it so that way i could get better with just burst firing at longer distances and it actually helped um but as for it giving me like a greater advantage over the other players it did not so um i guess it just really comes down to how you use it um because it's not like you're going to be getting headshots with it every time and it does not increase your accuracy it, it doesn't it, in fact it actually depending on where where you where you have it bound to on your mouse um it makes it a little bit harder to actually use efficiently so um the first thing you're going to do is, is you want to bind um the attack key to a different key on your keyboard um depending on the mouse uh with logitech and software you cannot bind um, a macro to the left or right uh, trigger key. Um, for some reason or another, it just lets you swap the two out. So your left click becomes your right click, and your right click becomes your left. So I just use the little sniper button on the side of my mouse, and I'll show all that in the software. But um, to bind a key to your primary attack, you're going to want to open up console, and you're going to type in bind, and then you're going to put parentheses. And then depending on what key you want to use, uh, Preferably one that you don't ever use on your keyboard, one that's kind of out of the way. Uh, so I use the K key, and then you're going to want to do another parentheses, and you're going to want to put plus attack parentheses, and you're going to enter. I'm not going to do it because it's already bound to that. So I'm actually, like, this is me pressing the K key right now on my keyboard. <clears throat> and this is me using the burst fire macro, and that's my dog in the background. I don't know if the mic's picking him up. But that's the burst fire macro. And <clears throat> it it really isn't, it doesn't give any weapons um, <clears throat> like an advantage. The only weapon that I've noticed that it actually helps with is the dual Berettas. And that's it. So, yeah. Um, also, I'm going to show in, in when I'm doing the macros because in the game itself, there's no way to set the DPI shift buttons to any kind of key bind so <clears throat> i use the macro as well for that so that way i can switch to my knife with the dpi down button and switch back to my secondary with the dpi up now with my mouse i can tilt the scroll wheel so by tilting it right i go to my knife left goes to this and then by clicking it in i go back to my primary so yeah that's that's that <clears throat> let's uh jump into the software real quick and i'll go ahead and show you the timing delays and everything else you'll need to set up a burst fire macro. Here's the Logitech gaming um, software. I'm not entirely sure what version I'm um, currently using. It updated yesterday, but um, so the the DPI shift key or the sniper button as it's, you know, called when they advertise the mouse is what I use for the burst fire macro. All right, so you'll want to go to multi-key macro you're going to want to hit record delays between events and check it and then start recording and hit the k key or whatever key you bind to your attack five times all right so each press down is a press on the key and then the up arrow is um letting off of the key and here's the delay um you can tap it one two three four five you can do it as slow as you want and then you can go in here and you can double click and you can change that just put 57 on each of these to give it a 0 0.057 delay which seems to be the sweet spot um, because not all not all guns have the same rate of fire but with it being at 0 0.057 uh, most if not all of your um, shots uh, every weapon that you use it'll be a five round burst some of them it'll be four but for most of them like the M4A1S the M4A4 the AK most of the pistols except for the Deagle and 
I think the FAMAS are the only two that I know of where you do not get a uh, a five round burst. So I'm not going to actually record a macro because I've already got one. So that's that one. And then these are the DPI shifts. So if you want to change these to where they function in the game to like swap to a different weapon, uh, you'll hit edit and you'll do the same thing and you'll just hit like to switch to the knife, which is the DPI um, down button. Uh, I just hit the number three and then just that's it and hit okay. So uh, same thing with this one. So yeah, I'm going to get back into the game now and, and show you um, with the M4A1S what it's like with the, with the macro as well. So here we are back in the game and this is the M4A1S and this is with the macro. With the macro on the M4A1S, uh, <laughs> M4A1S excuse me, I, I've been up for quite a while editing another video. But with it, you don't even have to pull down on the recoil because of the way the spread is on it. Like, it, it's ridiculous how accurate it is. So that may put you at some kind of advantage. But even then, it's just like, if you do it like that, like I just did without the macro, it's still just as accurate. So it's debatable. If you're going to use this... I would suggest using it responsibly because people do get <laughs> rather salty, I guess is the big term that everybody uses, but they will get irritated. They will get mad and frustrated about the fact that someone's shots are constantly landing on them because of the fact that they're using burst control and they will report you into an, in, to an inexperienced overwatch. They may see that as a trigger bot and you can get overwatch banned. So, just uh, use caution when doing it, and I mean, if, if you're going to do it, use it to actually just learn the timing. That's the only reason I did it, and honestly, I did it secondly, just to see if it could be done with the Logitech stuff, because I've seen people doing it with the Razer software for a while now, and that's why you see people with Tech 9s running around <clears throat> with them being fully automatic. So, and oh, here's the Deagle. Um, it's not because of the slow ass rate of fire it'll do three shots and the first two are actually straight on accurate uh so that's it for the little tutorial um this was per request by a good friend of mine who i'm gonna give a shout out because he has recently donated to me and uh along with this golden coil this was donated to me by a friend named um jay moore he does photography uh, he actually does really good shit um and uh, the other man, uh, Jova, has you know he's helped me out. He he donated me a Stat Track AK and an op skin. And and honestly, without the friends and the people backing me and the support I have, none of this would even be possible. <laughs> I mean, that's it. If this video helped you, um, good luck. Just use it responsibly. See you in the next one.